Hey folks, in today's tutorial, we're going to be building an app that tells you your fortune every time you shake your phone. We'll also be adding a couple more features to make the app more interesting. Okay, let's get started. First things first, the design. I'll use a vertical arrangement in order to stack elements on top of each other. Set it to fill parent so that it covers the entire screen. The background will be black. Centering the alignments means that any elements added will go straight to the center of the screen. Next, select an image component and drop it onto the canvas. Then you need to choose the image you want from your computer. You'll have to play around with the sizes. I'm using 50% width and height. Now let's put a little message on the screen that will tell users how to use the app. We'll use a label for this. I've made mine yellow and set the text style to italics. Then we need another label. This one will display the fortunes. We'll make the text color white and the font size 24. You don't have to write anything here. You can leave it blank. The next thing we need to do is add the accelerometer sensor that tells the app the phone has been shaken. You'll find this under the sensors section. Then we'll add the text-to-speech component. Both of these components are invisible and won't show up on the app screen. So now that all the design stuff is out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. Let's bring our app to life with code. First, Let's create a list of all the fortunes. To do this, we'll store the list in a variable that we'll name fortunes. Add as many of these new list item docs as you like. For now, I'll do this manually, but later I'll show you how to do this more efficiently. Select a text block, copy it using Ctrl C, then paste with Ctrl V as many times as you need. You'll add each of your fortunes into these boxes. I'm taking mine from a pre-made list. So now that those are all added, let's work on the functionality. Click on the accelerometer component and select a when shaking block. In here, we'll tell the app what to display. I forgot to give the label a name, so let me go back and do that, just so it makes it easier to tell what's what. We want the fortune told text to change every time the phone is shaken, and we want the text to be randomized. For that, we'll need a pick a random item block and the list from which it will choose is the fortunes list. The app will work as is, but we want the fortunes to be spoken to us as well. So let's grab a text to speech block and set the message to whatever's in the fortune told text block. And that's pretty much it. But that's a little bit plain. Why don't we add another feature? Maybe your users want the ability to turn the sound off and on. 
we're going to put a sound button at the top of the screen. Let's start by placing a horizontal arrangement and setting the height to 5%. Make sure that the background colour is the same as the rest of the screen. For this, I'm going to use two images, one that shows the sound is on and the other showing the sound is off. I want the sound button to be on the right hand side. So I'll change the horizontal alignment of the arrangement to right, and I also want the vertical alignment to be centered. Now just set the button image to your sound on image. Play around with the height and width to get your desired size. I'm using four by 6%. Let's rename the button while we're at it. We need to tell the app that when the sound button's clicked, if the sound is on, turn it off, and if it's off, turn it on. We'll use the images to tell us the sound's status and change them whenever the button is clicked. Now, we want the sound to only play when the sound button is on. We'll use another if block for that. And that's it. Now let's see our app in action. You are on the verge of a great change soon you will find yourself making decisions that bring about positive transformation in many areas of your life. In the near future, you will come across an opportunity that will bring great satisfaction. I said I'd show you a better way to add your fortune. Instead of doing them manually, let's use a CSV file. This way, it's much easier to add new fortunes, and you'll be able to store hundreds without things getting messy and clunky. In order for your app to read the CSV file, you'll need a file component, which you get from the storage area. Next. Upload your CSV file.
What we're doing here is telling the app that whenever the phone is shaken, it should read from our CSV file. In here, you add the file path. This will likely start with two forward slashes. App Inventor removes the spaces from the file names, so be sure to write the name as it appears in the program. Then we set the fortunes variable to an empty list. In order for the app to read and display the information from the CSV file, we'll use a list from CSV table block. In the got text block, we'll set the fortunes variable to all the text from the CSV file so that now it's in a list format we can actually read from. Because the text is going to come out like this, we need to remove the brackets and quotation marks. The easiest way to do this is by creating a procedure or a function. This function will use a replace all mappings block, which is located in the text component. Set the preferred order to dictionary. Next, set the text to the functions variable along with the pick a random item block. Then in the key blocks, add all the extraneous junk we don't want to see in our text. Leave the values blank. This procedure removes the brackets and quotation marks. Let's just change the procedure name to fix text so that we know exactly what it does. Then we'll call it in the got text block. Now you can just go ahead and delete these. And that's it folks, your very own fortune teller app. You can use the same code for jokes, riddles, affirmations, anything you like. I hope this was helpful. Cheerio!